Here's a question that we're starting to get a lot from our subscribers. Does the SH mix not damage the wood? Josiah's gonna break down a couple of the main ways that Brown's pressure washing cleans wood. All right, I wanna walk you through exactly how we clean wood, and then I wanna show you the other solutions or the other ways that you can clean wood as well. The first way, which is the way we've been doing it for a long time, um, if it's painted or stained wood that you're just trying to get clean, you're more than welcome to just use your downstream chemical injector, spray your sodium hypochlorite on there, get it nice and, and soapy, let it sit, and then rinse it off with about medium pressure if you're using an adjustable lance. If it's not stained and not painted and it's just wood that's been out in the elements, um, you can go to like a 3% uh, bleach mixture, um, just applied straight through your soft wash system. This will be a lot stronger and you want to spend a lot more time rinsing it um, after you've applied it. So same thing, go through with your soft wash system, apply the soap on there, let it sit, and then come back and, and do a nice pressure treatment to it. Um, you wanna be careful also with the pressure. You don't want to have too much pressure. You can end up splintering the wood, especially if it's older. Um, you just wanna make it nice soft and easy and do multiple applications instead of focusing on a lot of pressure. With log homes, cedar homes, specialty types of wood like that, um, and we have to do uh, the 3% solution, we always follow it up with oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is right here. It's upside down, I'm sorry. I would flip it right side up, but all of it would fall out, so I'm not gonna do that for you. Um, we follow up our specialty cleanings with oxalic acid. This helps neutralize the bleach and also restore the wood back to its or original color. And so if you've ever seen guys soft wash a fence or a home and it turns out real white and bleached out, that's because they're not restoring the wood, they're just cleaning it. Um, that is exactly how we uh, clean wood. Now there's another solution you can use sodium procarbonate. This is a good substitute for sodium hypochlorite if you don't want to use um, sodium hypochlorite. So this will help preserve um, the wood a little bit better. Um, it's a lot harder to use, a lot more in, uh, in depth, and it doesn't make the wood look as bright and as young as it once did. It will clean it, but it'll still kind of have that weathered look. And so that's the other, the second way to do it. And then the third way is using uh, a uh, chemical called deck wash. Now our local chemical distributor, Absolute Chemical, provides this for us. This is a very safe way to clean wood. It's very easy, it's not as aggressive as uh, sodium hypochlorite or sodium procarbonate, no mixing involved. Um, this you can just apply um, with an X-Jet or with your downstreamer to clean it. And it would be a similar process to using sodium hypochlorite. And just spray it on there, let it sit, come back and rinse it off. So there's multiple different ways and I'm sure there's a bunch of other ways that I'm not touching on today. Um, but these are the three main ways to clean wood um, and all of them work. Let us know down below how exactly you clean wood. Um, we're interested to collaborate with you guys to see um, what the best way is and what is the most popular. If you like this content, hit the like button and also go ahead and subscribe. This really helps us reach more people like you, more people trying to start their own businesses and people who don't know how to wash wood. Um, it'll help us reach all those guys.